Hey guys, today we decided to do a cooking challenge. We're here at our local farmer's market. Each boy has $20 to use to buy fresh ingredients for their meal. Now, no recipes, no cookbooks are allowed, so they're on their own. For today's challenge, I'm gonna make a, two hamburgers with fries as a side and bacon, cheese, a pineapple mash, and eggs and lettuce on top of it. Okay, first I'm gonna make a pineapple mash. I don't know how to do this, I'm just gonna wing it and hope I do it right. So, luckily, on the pineapple, there is this tag saying how to cut a pineapple because I don't know how to cut a pineapple. Maybe, maybe they cut. Nice. Here. Oh, I do not get this. It looks like they do that, and then they, oh no. Oh, well, I'm just gonna try to cut this out. <laughs> okay, so I have my chunks here, and there's this masher thing <laughs> in the cabinet. I'm not sure how to do this. Yeah, this isn't working very well. <laughs> when I get it at restaurants, it looks better than this. So, some sugar, I don't know. No, it's good. And, I don't know about flour. <laughs> Maybe I should put this in to make you like, I have no idea, I'm not gonna mess around with flour. Okay. Just kinda like mush. Oh. Maybe I should add a little bit of flour. Yeah, so I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. So I gotta turn this on. I almost turned it around six, I guess. Oh, it's not good enough. Oh, I have to do whatever this stuff is. Yeah, I think this would really spray on it. I just ripped this in half to make it fit. I'm gonna try my pineapple mash. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, oh, I just... That is not very good. I don't think I should have put the flour in there. Okay, I'm gonna try to attempt to flip this to the egg. I've been told it's kind of like the hardest part. Oops. Get this back over here. Uh, on there, egg. Okay, it looks like it's on there. I don't know if that's burnt. It doesn't look the way a bacon usually looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, I finished the bacon and eggs. They don't look as bad as I expected them to be. They're definitely a lot better than this. Okay, I think this is a good size patty. Guys, maybe. I don't know if it expands or contracts or just stays the same when it's heated. And then I'm gonna try to cook chips. Not completely sure how to do this, but I think you just have to cut them small. Like this thin. These look like decent potato chips, hopefully. Okay, now I'm gonna throw these in the oven. Oh, okay. Um, bake. 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 I'm going to hopefully perfect this pineapple batch. 
made some more. I really liked it with the sugar, but not the flour. Chip actually don't look that bad. I'm gonna put salt on these. So there's some bacon. Egg. And then some of my pineapple mash. And then for appearance, I'm gonna put this thing right there because it looks fancy. My chips go right there. There's my entree. Looks pretty good. The appearance is definitely pretty good. Gourmet burgers, lots of color. So let's start with the hey, chips. What? Did you make these? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah, these are pretty good. We've never made chips. Good job, mm. Ephraim. Okay. Burger time. I'm interested to see what the inside looks like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the top on. Oh man. Like where the pineapple stuff is. The egg squirted out on the back. Mmm. It looks brown. Yeah, it's cooked. I really like that. That's a good burger. Pretty good. Just can't get wrong with bacon. I don't even want bacon, but it tastes good. For your first burger ever, well done. Good job. This was really good. Uh, exceeded my expectations. Um, I'd probably even give it higher scores, but I feel like we've got to leave a little room for the ones to come. Uh, and other two are up next. Okay, so I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese with some ham in it. And then I'm gonna do boiled hard eggs. And then I'm gonna do avocado on the side. I got the nut out. Right now I'm kind of smoothing the inside so I can serve the avocado in the avocado shell. Now I'm gonna cut my ham for the mac and cheese. I'm guessing I need warmish water because I'm gonna heat it up. I see. But I don't know how much to dump it. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. Go ahead, start. Over here. Turn on. On low, I think. Did that turn it on? I'm guessing that it goes on too high. Might blow up, but it's on high. So, now I'm gonna hard boil eggs. Question is, do they go in water? I'm sorry, I cannot help you. I'm, you have to decide. I'm putting them in water. Not sure when they're done. I'm gonna have a taste test. See how they taste. Are they done? No. <laughs> it's starting to bubble, as you can see here. Um, we have some technical difficulties. So our eggs are getting really hot and they are cracking. Good job. I'm just gonna, they're not boiled. 
So we're putting the ma some macaroni back in the pan. Dump some cheese in here to make the macaroni cheesy. I'm just gonna stir it. Add some ham so the ham kind of gets cooked with the cheese and macaroni. My macaroni and ham looks like a big spider web. Last one didn't work that well. Worked. Okay, so my masterpiece is done, but let's see what the judges think. Very good, what do you call it? The mac and cheese with ham and the boiled egg and avocado on the side. Looks very yummy. All right. Okay. You can try this. Mmm. Very good. Can't beat that. And this is just fresh avocado cut up. Hard boiled egg. It is boiled all the way through. Mm. I do think it tastes a little bit better. I could definitely just eat it more. Okay, now that gives Caleb a 41. So 41 points. Ephraim has 42 points. Joel's up next. I'm gonna make fish tacos. Wait, don't I have to put this in there? Oh no. Oh no. Try this and then I'll flip it, I guess. Wait. I guess, yeah. I need more spread. Thanks. Ew. Because mommy doesn't really like hot stuff. How hot is it? Hotter than a habanero. It's pretty hot. My I touched my lips and my lips are burning. <laughs> it doesn't it didn't hurt my mouth, but it hurt my lips. Wait, what are you doing? I'm giving you some peppers too. You gotta share the love. What are you doing right now? I don't want negative votes because it's just hot. You just put seeds. I saw you just putting the seeds on my taco. Isn't that the hottest I'm part? I'm forced to give you the jalapeno because you're going to give me negative votes. But I am not forced to not put seeds. Those are giant pieces. Parents like avocado. Top it all off. Think I am finished. Okay, here we have Joel's creation: fish tacos with this fresh asparagus. Okay, should we start with the asparagus, maybe? Because sure. we might not be able to eat anything after eating all those hot peppers. Not bad. Huh. So mommy's getting slightly less hot. The kid version. <laughs> Looks great. 
I definitely got a jalapeno and my throat's on fire now. The cheese is great. The salsa and sour cream is just the right amount and I love avocados, of course. I love fish tacos. Now it's starting to heat up a little more. The, ha the jalapeno is way, what is the other one? Serrano. The jalapeno is way hotter. The jalapeno of the Nami is way hotter than mine. Ephra made a big bite of it and he's in a lot of pain back there eating ice cream. I just ate a big chunk of it and it is way hotter. Okay, we have the judges report here with our third and final meal. So that gives Joel a 40, and that means that Ephraim has one with a 42. Lots of hard work. <laughs> Ephraim <laughs> got a medal. Yay. And what's it saying? Ephraim no. wins. Oh, okay, cook. Yay. Put it around your head. Uh, does it fit? Yeah, it does. It's going. <laughs> Number one, Too much kid hair. cook. Everybody's eating ice cream now um, because they eat hot peppers and their mouths are burning. Thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate it and please uh, give us more ideas or let us know what you do and don't like in each video in the comments. Subscribe, tell your friends, and comment below new ideas. Summer flies. Watch out for hot peppers. <laughs>